Hey, Ashok here. Can a linear regression be used for solving nonlinear data? And this uh, is a good question. The quick answer is no, because one of the assumptions of your linear regression is your predictors, which are x1, x2, should have a linear relationship with your target. So, which means that, you know, something like this. So, if you have x, y, the relation should be linear. So, you can have data like this. This is a linear relationship. If you don't obey this assumption, if the data does not, uh, does not have a linear relationship, then linear regression will not give you a good results. That's a quick answer. But there is also a possibility of of converting or transforming a nonlinear data into linear data by basically taking a log or we can take any function so the, 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 the equation is transformed to a different scale or different dimension basically all right for example take this one y is equal to a x to the power of b it's an exponential b can be anything for example b can be a square like y is equal to a, a square then you might get a graph something like this okay and this is non-linear uh, because you have second order equation and linear regression may not be a perfect choice but if you take a log this equation is transformed into log of y is equal to log of a if you know the logarithms it's a pretty simple uh, just take a log both sides and uh, a multiplication like a b becomes log a plus log b so and then the power actually becomes a multiplication like this so that's a straightforward transformation and if you plot now with log y and log x the graph it looks like this so you can now apply linear regression for this and then you can uh, reverse the results to get the actual y and x okay all right so we can also do this in a in a in a, in a Jupiter uh, quickly to understand. Let me just quickly do it for you. Let's take x is equal to uh, any value. Let's say three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then y. Uh, roughly, I'm taking uh, so let's say fifteen, twenty. Trying to take a nonlinear relationship 27 um, like 39 or 40 or whatever it is and all right so this is a nonlinear so let me plot it and see how how it looks like so I'm going to import matplotlib matplotlib dot plot plt and I'll say plt I'm going to simply take a line graph and say x comma y and plot it well, I don't see anything to say show okay so it's a simple plot to just know our points I'm gonna put a marker I just put a zero so this is my non-linear I can see that you no know, y has uh, is equal to some x square kind of relationship right and by nature we cannot apply a linear regression to this okay but what if if I take a log of this I'm gonna import a numpy package so that I can take a log uh, uh, your y now or simply we can say log y because I'm going to take a log log y is equal to numpy log of uh, uh, this is roughly a is equal to 1 here so I'm going to simply say log of 1 and uh, um, this is square relationship so you are just checking out square relationship so you have to that should be 2 2 into log x all right so 2 into numpy log uh, x all right and 
Yep. So this is your log y. And well, log x is simply log of x. I'll say np dot log of x. And then um, I'm going to plot the graph, the exact same graph, by using the log x and log y this time. So I'll say log x and log y. Here we go. And you see that the graph is transformed from a non-linear scale to a linear, very near linear scale. And now, of course, I can apply linear regression methods to to, 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 to find the y and then reverse transform and get the results. All right, so that's it. So if you get this kind of questions, uh, the quick answer is no, uh, because one of the assumptions of linear regression is that your predictor should be in a linear relationship with your target. But then you can extend the answer saying, well, there are methods to transform the data. So you can transform a nonlinear data into linear scale and then apply linear regression. All right. Hope this is helpful and thank you. I see you in the next video.